Yo, imagine Markiplier actually thinking he's real. Lemao. That's the funniest thing that I've ever heard. Guys, imagine Markiplier, you know, the guy that we've all come to know that is clearly not a real guy. Imagine him trying to make people think he's actually real. I don't know. It's kind of a cringe situation. And if you're unfamiliar with what's going on right now, Markiplier posted on his channel almost a week ago a video titled Markiplier Isn't Real, where he clearly isn't <laughs> Lemao. Then he gets like his different editors and different people making really short one to three minute videos saying Lixian's confession, Marcus and Rachel's confession, Wade's confession, Bob's confession, all these different confessions of different people that Markiplier allegedly knows even if he would be real. Trying to make you think that Markiplier is in fact real, but you think you're so smart Marky Poo. I've been watching you for years. You think you could trick me? You think you could fool me with these confessions into making me believe that you are in fact not real <laughs> you fool you absolute buffoon i will not be fooled i know too much <laughs> Although it was strangely odd that uh, Ethan from Crank Gameplays made this channel Unis Anis all alone and he didn't have any help at all posting videos there for an entire year. Yeah, that was weird. Like, allegedly people say you had things to do with it, but like, <laughs> I didn't see any evidence. You didn't even help an iota. Bro, this is so cringe all around. Now, for those of you that are curious what the hell I'm talking about, it's the fact that Markiplier, who is totally not real, by the way, <laughs> no gun to my head saying that or anything, <laughs> just saying the fact, you know how it is. He ain't real. And his marketing campaign for something he's currently working on, Markiplier isn't real. Now, Markiplier has been one of my favorite creators on the website for a long, long time. He's this dude that goes out of his way to make gaming content daily, like all these other big guys, but also works on such massive projects behind the scenes that he releases every once in a while. It just blows me away, not only on a storytelling or comedic level, which is great by its own right, but there's always like a deeper theme and deep deeper layer to the stories that he makes. His most recent one, A Heist with Markiplier, was a ton of fun. It was really, really well made with a choose your own ending kind of vibe. And the story was great. In my personal opinion, it's nowhere near as awesome as something he's made a while back, Who Killed Markiplier, which is this story about Markiplier's death and characters like Wilbur Wharfstash being introduced to his canonical lore, where he puts a tremendous amount of effort into some of his videos and he hides clues to his overall lore in his little videos. You know, he's just making gameplay stuff for fun when Darkiplier, his emo alter ego, tries to take over the channel. So, as someone that's been watching Markiplier for a while and really appreciating him as a master of his craft, because that's what he is. He is a brilliant content creator, even with the way he's framed Unis Anas and deleting it after a year. Not that he had any part to play in that. Only real people were featured in Unis Anas, by the way. A lot of people out there never really expect experienced his more creative side because we all know Markiplier as that dude who gets scared playing Five Nights at Freddy's and most of us don't go back to actually see that. God damn, this man is a genius when it comes to creating good ass content. The current thing that he's working on is gonna be great. It's gonna be one of these major projects where he uploaded a video saying that he is not real. Ha ha ha. Lamau. And then uploading the confessions of a bunch of his different friends as to why he's not real as this campaign to super hype up this new Markiplier isn't real video or series or just massive overall project that he's working on. And Markiplier is not only a genius when it comes to making content, but the mad lad knows how to market his shiz. And I have to say, I have nothing but respect for the way this man has been handling making content, slowly releasing bits of his lore over the last decade almost of making videos. His patience and his creativity aside, I'm excited for Markiplier isn't real whatever it may hold and well. Being that this channel that you're watching right now, Nuxanor, which is totally real and you should definitely subscribe to and hit the notification bell, as well as leave a like on the video, this real channel is all about me having fun on the internet. My big projects are on the Nuxtaku channel and this is just for me making fun of creators that deserve to be made fun of, praising things that I feel like deserve praise or just laughing at memes. This is just me having fun on the internet and this is something that caught my attention that I'm really excited for and even though I'm much, much smaller, I am to some degree a colleague of Markiplier, a fellow content creator. And I say that with honor. There are a lot of YouTubers out there with a lot of subscribers that I have to say, it's kind of rough to be like, oh yeah, me and Jake Paul, we're colleagues, you know, both of us uploading videos on YouTube. 
Hell yeah, gamers. <laughs> but there are a few people out there that I'm just honored to be on the same platform as, and Markiplier is definitely one of them. I'm not one to make a video that's just purely wholesome and vibes, though. Like, I realized the first five minutes of this video is me memeing around and actually... What? Complimenting somebody? Yeah, I know. It's basically giving my chat and comment section all the rights to the cringe fest that'll be everyone calling me a simp. Thank you. Thank you in advance, everyone, for calling me a simp. Very cool. But being that, no video would be complete without me pooping on somebody just stretching open the esophagus of a man to dookie inside. I mentioned Jake Paul as a comparison. Another uh, YouTuber that's on this platform that, well, I mean, I'm, I'm not super proud to be associated with, unlike Marky Boo. So now, just to compare the difference between how Mark hypes up a big project to how Jake hypes up a big project, Markiplier leaves subtle hints in different videos, makes these really short, quick videos, never gives away too much, but also doing it in a way that's intriguing and just curious to see what he actually makes, being that there's a real creative side to his videos. And then there's Jake Paul, the master of hype on the complete other side of the scale. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand the kid. This dude's like, ah, yes, I would like to have a boxing match with a certain famous individual. Let's just drive by his friend in a car and throw water balloons at him. Let's go, gamers. I will throw toilet paper at my adversaries. Then when the guy starts actually approaching his car, he's like, oh, guys, get, let's get the hell out of here. Here's the clip. Hey, look, it's Conor McGregor's right there. Push, push, push. <laughs> Pretty legendary stuff, I know. Jake is just, he, he's a level of hype on, on a completely different playing field. We're all playing checkers when he's playing five-dimensional thumb war, okay? He's just another plane of existence far above ours. We will not comprehend the genius of Jake Paul's marketing stratagems. Oh, I really like that part where he was hyping up a fight by calling his opponent's wife a whore. That was extremely ingenious and definitely thought-provoking. Everyone was like, ah, yes, I wonder what Jake Paul's psychological battle plan will compete. This is genius. I just, like, I, I can't even fathom. I can't speak words anymore. His brain is so colossal. Bruh, Markiplier's never even gotten into beef on the entire YouTube platform in his extensive history. Like, when he actually got a community guideline strike that one time because he stuck his neck out for Charlie, it was crazy. Because this dude's never even gotten a strike before on YouTube. What? It's unfathomable. And then there's Jake Paul lighting babies on fire and throwing them at people or something. I don't know. I don't exactly keep up with all of his antics, but that sounds kind of like the thing he would do. Man, I do love the YouTube ecosystem. You get literally everything from all sides of the spectrum. But anyway, just wanted to end this video off by saying real quickly, much respect to you, Markiplier. Really looking forward to the content, even though you are definitely 100% not real. Hell yeah, gamers. Subscribe to Nuxanor because this channel is real, okay? <laughs> if you're interested in watching a dude just have fun on the internet, this is the channel for you. Whether it's pooping on people or laughing at memes, definitely subscribe. Let's hit 500k already, goddammit. It's taking way too long. Not that I'm ungrateful or anything. I'm just, I could be more grateful, <laughs> if you know what I mean. We're trying to surpass people. PewDiePie, goddammit. We're almost there. We're only like 100-something million subscribers away. We'll, we'll make it eventually. Maybe I'm thinking by the end of the month. That'll be exciting. Have yourselves the most wonderful evening. And remember to stay weird, fam.